Hello everybody, Bye Ethan Productions here. Today we're taking a look at some abandoned railroad crossings here in San Leandro. These crossings are on a, I believe, out of service line. I don't, I don't know if it's out of service or abandoned. It does have contact information, fairly recent contact information, so I'm not too sure if this thing's out of service or just all abandoned. So we're here at the first crossing. Gosh, these things are so much bigger in real life. You know, you wouldn't believe it. So we have a LEW base. Safe Trans Systems 12 by 24 inch incandescent lights. No cross book. And over here, this is the real prize here. This is a uh, Griswold gate mechanism. EM gate mechanism. This is the lock. Can you move it? Oh my gosh, you can move it. That's cool. I'm not gonna move it too much. Looks like someone snapped the gate off. As you can see. Looks like there used to be lights here. They're probably more safe trend 12 by 24 inch lights. And the cross book there. So yeah. That's the first of, I believe, three crossings that I can access. All right, let's go down to the next one. All right, here we are at the second crossing. Can the BART train please be quiet? Okay, with the BART train gone, here we have the second crossing. This is another safe train setup. Safe train gate mechanism, safe train lights, safe train mechanical bell right up there. And yes, as you can clearly see, the gate's chained up in the up position, but the others aren't like that. I think this one got disconnected somehow. Safe Tran cantilever. Another pair of 12 by 24 inch lights and three more pairs 12 by 24 inch lights. And as you can see on the median signal, the crossbook's been bent because the gate has fallen off. And... There's another safe train mechanical bell up there. Probably another safe train gate mechanism. And over there, another safe train gate mechanism, probably. More 12 by 24 inch incandescent lights and another safe train mechanical bell. And three more pairs of incandescent lights. I don't want to cross over the street because it's really busy. But yeah. Oh yeah, one of the gate lights is disconnected too. Don't know what kind they are, they're probably generic lights, but yeah. That's the second crossing. Thing. Alright, let's go to the third one. Alright, here we are at the third crossing. This one's kind of buried in the trees a little bit, this side. So let's check it out. Here we have a pair of Safe Tran 12 by 24 inch incandescent lights. Griswold EM gate mechanism. And I can't tell what kind of bell that is. What bell is that? I can't see what kind of bell that is. I think it's a Rayco of some sort. Safe Tran panel lever. 24 inch lights facing that way and up on the cantilever we got another pair of safe train 12 by 24 inch incandescents here comes a car I should get out of the street all right coming over here we have up on the cantilever another pair of safe train 12 by 24 inch lights more 12 by 24 inch lights and two more pairs of safe train 12 by 24 inch incandescent lights and another Griswold 
EM gate mechanism, which this one's actually still intact. Wow, that's actually surprising. Oh, never mind, someone cut the lock. All right. I mean, all these Griswold EMs on, on this line are practically falling apart because everyone's vandalized them because this line's out of service, as I've said so before. Looks like someone sliced off the gate wires. And up on top of the Griswold EM, we have a Rayco Mechanical Bell. And we have a Safe Fran Cantilever. So yeah, there's an abandoned lot over there where the lights are pointing at. Yeah, that is crossing number three. I also don't know what kind of uh, gate lights those are. They're all incandescents. Yeah, next one over. Very faded gate. Okay, I had to skip over one of the crossings because there was too many people at it. So yeah, here we have the fourth railroad crossing I'm going to show you on this line. So let's start it off. Here we have a... Oh, it's a safe train EM. Huh. Must have been after they took over Griswold. But yeah, as you can see, this thing's seen better days. It's counterweight's completely sheared off and it is bent at a weird angle. You can also see the lights have taken a whack too, as well. You know, which they are Safe Tran 12 by 24 inch lights as per usual on this line. I think all the crossings have Safe Tran 12 by 24 inch lights on this line. And up there on the signal, I can't quit for some weird reason. I don't know why. Here we have... I can't tell what kind of bell that is. I think that's a Griswold. Wait. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a Griswold. I'm not, I'm not too sure about it. I can't, I can't really see the uh, name on the bell. And this signal also has recently installed contact information. Probably from last year. And there's the very worn out gate with a broken end. This thing probably has been slamming to the ground for some time. And the gate light cord's intact. Wow. That's a surprise. Most of the uh, gate light wires have been cut on this line. But yeah. Let's go over here to the median. Where we have this very old... What is it? Griswold cantilever. Wow. That is freaking, I really like these uh, old styles of cantilever, not gonna lie. And here we have some more safe tran, 12 by 24 inch lights. Do you mind? Okay, I'm sorry about that. The, the BART trains tend to pass through here really frequently, but yeah, here we have some uh, safe tran 12 by 24 inch lights. And actually some uh, newer safe tran 24. 12 by 24 inch incandescent lights. So I can't, I can't really speak. I'm sorry, I'm losing, I'm losing my speech. I'm getting it all slurred up. But yeah. And as you can clearly see, the uh, gate wire's been cut. And it's still intact, wow. That's impressive. Because most of the uh, crossings have had their uh, locks cut on the gate mechanism. And up on the cantilever we have a pair of 12 by 24 inch incandescent lights. Well, let's go over to the other side, which I'm gonna cross safely and not jaywalk. All right, I'm on the other side here. As you can see, we have another Griswold EM. This one's missing its gate though. Another pair of, oh, God, those, are, those things are huge. Here we have a pair of Safe Trin 12 by 24 inch lights. Another Griswold cantilever, this one being an older one, shorter one actually. Up on the cantilever we have more 12 by 24 inch lights, also by Safe Tran. And what is that? What's that bell? I can't see it. Oh no, wait, it's a teardrop bell! Wow! Okay, that, 
Okay, that's a USNS teardrop bell up there. I did not know that. Wow. Huh. And there's another crossing somewhere in Oakland that has a, a teardrop bell. I never expected to see a teardrop bell all the way out here. Yeah, that's this crossing. Anyhow, let's go on to the next one. All right, this one's not a part of the abandoned line, but I just decided to show it because what the heck. So let's see. Here we have a W.C. Hayes gate mechanism. A W.C. Hayes base. W.C. Hayes 12 by 24 inch LED lights. W.R.S.S. bracket. Contact information. New gate. LED gate lights. And up on top of the signal is a kind of crooked W.C. Hayes mechanical bell. I have no idea why it's crooked. It's just like that. And over there, let me cross over to see what it is. Okay, so over here we have another W.C. Hayes gate mechanism. Another W.C. Hayes base. Some more W.C. Hayes 12 by 24 inch LED lights. And up on top is a WC Hayes E Bell. Don't know what type it is. Probably a type 3 or a type 2. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Oh, that's this crossing here. I would like to see it in action because of that WC Hayes mechanical bell, but uh, there's no trains coming, so back to the abandoned line we go. Oh man, my voice is getting tired, but this is so cool. Alright, here we are at the next crossing. And this one's in much better shape, although the counterweight's been torn off the Griswold EM. Or actually, it's a safe train EM, sorry. Right? But it's a Griswold, so you know what I mean. Same setup as the other crossing you saw back there. Uh, the last crossing. Oh look, here's the gate! From that signal over there. It's basically pretty much the same as the last crossing, except there's no... There's no cantilever here on the other side. And no teardrop bell. But I think all the bells are pretty much the same. They're just all Griswolds. And here's another one of those um, old uh, Griswold cantilevers. I like the look of these old cantilevers, not gonna lie. <laughs> Someone threw their shoes up into the uh, cantilever up there. Yeah. <laughs> Correction, this thing's missing both its gates on both. Oh look, here's another gate. You can see down there that there is a busted up gate down there. And there's foliage growing on the track. So that further proves my suspicion that this thing's abandoned. That or it's out of service, I don't know. I'm not too sure of the status of this line. And up there is a Oh, I can actually read that. That's a Griswold bill. Yeah, pretty much the same as the other two crossings. On to the next. Alright, so I'm near the next crossing and check this out. Here's some old uh, USNS searchlights. Look at that. Ladder's kind of been on this one. And there's the case for it. You see this line was owned by uh, Union Pacific at one point. All right, let's let's get to the crossing now. And it's another Griswold setup with safe trend lights. That's my camera so zoomed in. So this one has a older Griswold EM with a rock jammed into the handle for some weird reason. I don't know why. Okay, what's with all the wood? Where's all the wood keep coming from? Oh, you know what? 
I bet you all that wood's coming from inside these uh, signals from people vandalizing them. If you've noticed all the wood around scattered around these crossings, it's because the uh, of people vandalizing them. They're yanking out the uh, shelves. These are the shelves inside the uh, Griswolds. So yeah. This is a party mark over the light. You can see it. And there's the other signal with its light slightly bent. All right, let's go over to that crossing over there. All right, this is as far as I'm gonna go here. So, let's make this last one quick because I, I want to get back to the park station at some point. So, here we have a, another Griswold setup. So this one has Harman 12 by 24 inch incandescent lights at it. And this one's bent as per usual because someone hit the signal. Over here we have a another safe train Griswold setup. So this one's had its uh, lights ripped off, front lights. There's another Griswold safe train set up over there. Although one of the lights is bent. And then that signal over there, <laughs> that one's had both its front and rear lights ripped off. Another uh, Griswold or safe train bell, I don't know if, or Rayco, I don't know which one it is. And a slightly banged up Griswold EM. Oh, look at this! Ever seen the inside of a Griswold EM? Oops. Ever seen the inside of a Griswold EM? I mean, half the stuff's been ripped out of it, but yeah. That's super cool, and of course the gate wire's been cut. Contains asbestos. Oh dear, I better get out of there. Yep, it's a Griswold. You can see it right in there on the uh, thing. See it? But yeah, that's as far as I'm gonna go down the line. As I was saying, this is as far as I'm gonna go down the line. And if I go any further down, I'm gonna get too far away from the bar station. So yeah, I wanna say thank you for watching and as always, bye for now.